Hello, my Virgos, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I'm Debbie. I'm reading today for May 19th to the 25th. We are transitioning the last day of Taurus on the 19th into <laughs> Gemini. So take a peek at my overview, time to wake up, something like that. It, it, it goes into a lot of stuff of what to expect. Anyway, remember these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm getting a very stealthy energy around you, my Virgos. Kind of like also um, a lot of energy, a lot of things are going around you. A lot of, woo, got to make some fast decisions. And yet at the same time, I feel like you're that calm in the storm. Now we do have the full moon in Sagittarius and it, the card says, look at the bigger picture. So let's see, what else? What other message is there for Virgos? What other message is there for Virgos? So as, you know, you're, you're the calm. I'm not saying that things aren't whirling around you or anything like that. They are. But you're taking a spiritual approach. You're, and, you know, I think that many of my, Vir, my Virgos out there are meditating and really just kind of saying, okay, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to see what I need to do. And like I said, you're, you're the, you're, you're, you're the calm, you're the calm. So people may be attracted to that. And I know that that's something that my Virgos, you may want to, you know, you're, you're my, what is it? Extroverted introverts or introverted extroverts. So you may want to take some time out and make sure you stay charged up. Okay. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What do you want to say to your Virgos? Your words to Virgo. Here we go. One, Two, reverse, stronger stuff. Three. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. First card. The Knight of Earth. Well, I love the Knight of Earth, and I do feel a lot of Virgo energy when I get the Knight of Earth. So underlying energy for the Knight is fire, because all the court cards have two energies. Whatever is being presented and whatever, um, you know, whatever their natural um their natural energy is. So fire is more the natural energy. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. Sagittarius has the full moon coming up. So there's something with that adventurous at the same time. But earth is your energy. It's also Taurus. It's also Capricorn. It's money, job, career. So what I love about the Knights, the Knights are focused. When they really figure out their focus, they may not necessarily know what to do with it, but when they know, okay, I'm going this way, I'm going east, I'm going west. I, I keep getting east, though. I'm going east. This is where I'm going. This is what I must accomplish. This is what I must do. Um, I'm, you know, getting that. But the Knight of Earth really works at, you know, okay, I know I need to do there. I, you know, from A to B to C, but I need to know how I'm going to get to this C. You know, the Knight of Earth doesn't just jump in and, you know, and join everyone else's, you know, oh my gosh, how are we going to handle it? You, you take that step back and you figure it out. Just figure it out, my Virgos. And once you figure it out, you do it and you get it done. So the Knight of Earth is also loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitment, a guardian angel. Next card reversed, the magician. So now we have a major arcana. We have a one, a new beginning, new start. We have the magician, Archangel Raziel. Raziel is the one that ha knows occult knowledge. Now, occult does not mean um, dark, okay? Occult just means hidden, hidden knowledge. Things that you do not, that you're not aware of. You know, so many things in our life is a cult until we, be, until we learn it. But Archangel Raziel knows this, but he also knows that, you know, as it is, you know, as above, so on earth, you know, and, you know, what is it, you know, our father, um, you know, you know, as, you know, as, as, you know, as in heaven, so on earth, okay? So very, you know, very much, you know, making that connection, making that connection with higher power, making that connection with, you know, tapping into the veil, tapping through the veil, tapping into newer, into the different dimensions at the same time. The magician says you can make anything happen though, okay? We're not talking necessarily about the power of attraction or the law of attraction, very similar, but this is the magician making something out of nothing. So you are ready, 
you have the resources or the ability to manifest them, life is magical. Next card is unity. Okay, now we come to that one that it's nev I'm never a big fan of. Um, it's not that it's, it, it's just that you have to always fight. It's like you have to fight the system. When I see, you know, unity, the hierophant, it's like, oh, always going against the system. Or, or in this case, learning how to play the system or how to navigate the system. You know, Hierophant always reminds me of the business part, the money part, the business of religion, the business of government, the business of anything that is making money off of the backs of others. And what I'm going to say is this is, you know, this is you being very wise and really thinking how to navigate this unity energy. Now, Archangel Sandalfin, Sandalfin believed to be Elijah, the great prophet of the Old Testament, uh, you know, never died, was transfixed into heavens, talks on our, you know, can, you know, the only thing with um, Elijah, Elijah, um, you know, major, major miracles, major spokesperson uh, for God. However, there were many times when Elijah just was, you know, just needed to, you know, go out into the wilderness and didn't know how, you know, many times Elijah doubted. Okay, so even though he was this great prophet, there was a lot of doubt that he still had a lot of moments of doubt, and that brings about his humanity. Okay, why, why I had to tell you that, I don't know. But um, unity, it's kind of like whatever I'm seeing, you're, you can make things done, but you're going to have to learn to either, you know, um, navigate, navigate the business or uh, maybe even, you know, step out, okay? So, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So get your, get your support group going and, or go around the people that know, you know, that, that help you through this time, okay? So we have a one, five, five is change, one, five, 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 change, change, change. So let's see what else we have for your Virgos. What else do you want to say to your Virgos? What else do you want to say to your Virgos? What else do you want to say to your Virgos? Here we go. Ah, firm foundation. So this is, um, this is also earth energy. We have a four stability organization leadership creating a firm foundation. However, with earth energy, with a four, I always tell you to make sure that your foundation is firm. Okay. And it's funny because I think that, um, that Taurus got something about a foundation at the same time. I tell people whenever I see the four of earth come up, I always ask that you check your bank accounts, check your, you know, your debit, things like that to make sure that your foundation is the is firm. Your foundation is strong. Your core is strong, okay? So it is about, you know, part of it is creating that firm foundation. Part of it is um, also checking to make sure that every, you know, all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Check that your money is where your money is supposed to be. Also, it is about, you know, um, earth energy or any, any energy is, you know, is transferable, um, you know, make sure that you, the loop, make sure what you give in some ways returns, not necessarily by that same person, but um, firm foundation, keep it strong. Okay, let's go on, Angels of Abundance. I like this card, a little money advice, kind of a money advice, right? Let's see. What do you have for your Virgos? What advice for your Virgos? Virgos. Here we go. Attracting, not chasing. Kind of, you know, we talked a little bit about the law of attraction. So here you have the, um, you know, the um, manifesting, and now you do have the law of abundance. <laughs> the law of attraction. So anything or anyone you chase after will run away. Or on the other way, have you ever done that with a puppy? Yeah, they run. Because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energies. Yeah, so, yeah, it's coming. Okay, let's go on what crystal would be good, again, through this, new, this full moon time. 
for your Virgos. So one, five, four, four, five, one. Card has flipped. Zebra stone, we have a four and a three. So we talked about the four. Um, a three is celebration, creation, power of three. Zebra stone helps to remind you about compassion. Maybe, you know, not just for others, but also for yourself. You are very hard on yourself, my Virgos. It also is something that helps in your root chakra, which is about your stability, your organ, your stability, your safety, your sense of, um, your, your sense, I want, I almost want to say your sense of purpose. This is, you know, this is the, this, this root chakra helps with a firm foundation. Okay. So look at the bigger picture. You know, a lot of things we've, you know, with the root chakra, a lot of things in childhood, you know, you got to kind of go back and maybe, uh, maybe clean some of that out or ask for it to be cleaned out. Okay, let's see. Higher power, your moon energy for Virgos. Moon energy for Virgos. What do you have for our Vir for your Virgos? Reversed. Oh, a full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Does that make sense for somebody out there? A personal issue reaches resolution. Let me know. I'm curious now. Okay, my Virgos, please, 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 please remember to do the like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications because it helps. I know everybody asks, but we ask because it helps. It helps us. Anyway, Virgos, please remember you are always loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.